Medieval delivery really should be my jam. It takes place in a fantasy medieval village wherein you're the titular deliverer, tasked with shepherding parcels to their rightful recipient. There's a lot of potential here for strong atmosphere, characterization, pathfinding, and unique scenarios. Unfortunately, it's pretty straightforward and stifling. First most, your character just has a magical compass embedded in his brain, I guess, because he instantly knows where everyone is, what they're doing, and when they'll be available. I've talked at length about how objective markers and obtrusive UIs ruin immersion, but it's doubly the case here. This game is about exploring the town and finding routes to customers, but you can just kind of zero in on the shiny waypoint and ignore the scenery around you entirely. An easy fix for this would have been to remove the checklist and compass, and just make the player manually check their map instead. They could also check a notebook for their to-do list Shinmu style. The reason objective markers are excusable in other games is because you get to do something meaningful when you finish traveling, but in medieval delivery the traveling is the gameplay, and it's completely trivialized through icon hunting, just like modern open world titles. All of the deliveries are pretty isolated to boot, you don't really get to know any of the people you're working for, their needs, wants, chit chat, or even network with them. You just sense when someone needs something and rush to fulfill their wishes, reading some typo-ridden dialogue which ill explains anything. There's no surprise to the proceedings, no rise, no fall, no thought, no flow, and it's all terribly uncanny. The game does later try to add some stakes, variety, and focus by introducing stealth elements, but these are the worst stealth elements. Just like, peak stinky stealth. The AI cheats being able to see you clearly through walls from absurd distances, they're also able to discern your villainous intent instantly and forego all reasonable suspicion, and the crouch mechanic is overpowered. It's exactly the stuff people rightfully mock about stealth experiences. This isn't how sneaking works, and no abstraction of sneaking should function this messily either. There's also a day-night cycle for additional mechanical complexity, but ultimately this boils down to busy work. Go home, advance time, and then head back to the mission. It's that simple. Also, the passage of time is handled in the worst way imaginable. When it turns from midnight to dawn, the people, objectives, and scenery right in front of you will instantly disappear. Who knows where they went or why exactly you need to wait till nightfall to see them again, but you do. To pile more heaps of salt upon the already festering insult, bugs are rampant in this experience. You'll see people clipping through the ground with startling regularity, the game's scripting breaks if you accept multiple missions simultaneously, and sometimes event triggers just refuse to, you know, trigger. Medieval delivery was a really cool idea, but I can't honestly think of a single reason to recommend it.